out, a car out of one. I pray this devil died and get every evil thing the Lord got to get. And listen, I know you look at us in the state we in right now. Come your shahala. Come your shahala. I know you look at us in the state we in right now, black people on drugs, and we suffering and dying. And I know it seems like you can do whatever you want to this people. I know it seems like this, but the time for glorifying yourself is soon at an end. Yeah, 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 and it's heavy hitting crew. Big ups, big ups to the ISUPK. This is our school of UPK. I'm gonna give a special shout out to Commander General Mahana, the head of the ISUPK, for coming together with us and directing us on burying our brother, preaching officer Bar Yah. You understand it? And getting things in order. Once again, Commander General Yahana, the hardest man working man in Israel, he came together and put the funds together for this brother's funeral at the last minute notice. You understand? Once again, showing how we're supposed to be to one another. You understand? And showing why he is the head of the ISUBK and the head of the whole nation of Israel. You understand? With that being said, the views, statements, and comments of the Hebrew speaking, I guess, do not necessarily reflect those of WPB 88.1 FM, the members, or the board of WPB 88.1 FM. All right, with that being said, today's topic, we're going to what we think. And does what we think coincide with the Lord? Let's find out. A lot of times we hear things out of the Bible and say, well, I don't think it says that. I don't think it means that. Well, I don't think this. I don't think that. Let's find out directly what the Lord says about what we think and how we feel. Once again, we got to take away our emotions and start doing what the most I say do. If we say do this, that means just go ahead and do it. Don't do it, then we don't do it. No matter how you feel. A lot of times, our feelings, our emotions get in the way of doing what's right for the Lord. And we got to learn how to curb that, stop it, and redirect our, our efforts and our, our, our abilities and our morality to do what the Lord say do. With that being said, um, let me get Isaiah 55, 8 and 9. Come on. Isaiah 55, verses 8 through 9. Come. That's what the Lord says on what you think. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people say, well, I think you should do it this way. Or, I think you should do it this way or that way. Or say this or say that. No. The most I've ever said that. But this is what the Most High said. Read, you got it? Come on, concern. Read it for me, brother. Isaiah, chapter 55, verse 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Say it again. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. See what the Most High said? He said, your thoughts are not my thoughts. Meaning, the Lord don't think how we think. When you start worrying about what the Lord think, I mean, what you think, and go, go against what the Lord think, you are making an error. You understand? Read. Come on, concern. Neither are my ways, neither are your ways my ways. See that? Meaning, the Lord is saying, the way we think ain't the way he think. Neither are your ways my ways. Meaning, what we think and what we feel, if we don't coincide with the Bible and the scriptures, it don't coincide with the Lord. Right. I had a conversation with someone recently and they were trying to tell me what adultery was. That a man can have more than two wives. I'm trying to tell a person that a man can have more than two wives in the Bible. They tell me what they think and what they feel. <clears throat> so I give them the scripture in the Bible on what adultery is. You know what right. they said? They said that don't matter. It applied to both men and women. Well, that's not what the Bible says. The Bible don't say that a man can have more than one wife. He can have more than one wife. That's right. The problem is women get upset with that and they find they can't have more than one man. You understand? They want to be on equal playing ground, equal footing with the man, and that's not what the Bible says. We all got a divine order. And that means we do what the Lord say do. You understand? So her thoughts, when they get what the Bible says, and I gave her the scriptures. First she said, give me the scripture, and I told her where's that. Then she's like, that don't matter. Keep on reading. Come on, concern. Save the Lord. Verse 9. For as the heavens 
are higher than the earth. Like the heavens up in the sky, they higher than the earth. Go ahead. So are my ways higher than your ways. The most I know what he's doing when he said a man can have more than one wife. That's or whatever he's saying in the Bible. His ways are higher than your ways. His thinking is higher than your thinking. Go ahead. And my thoughts than your thoughts. See that? And his thoughts than your thoughts. Listen, you tuned in live to let the Hebrew speak live on WPB 88.1 FM. Now, let's go to Proverbs 3, verses 5 through 7. Come, come Get some seven. wisdom on, on, on the Lord today. And it's going to start with you stop doing what you want to do. Or thinking that you know what the Lord says and you're going against what the Bible says. Now, if what you're saying coincides with the Bible... And you got it from the highest UPK, yeah, you're right. That's right. You're good to go. But if it don't, you're making a grave error. Right. Talking about I don't think. You got it for me out? Come on, come on. Read. Come on, come Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord. Say it again. Trust in the Lord. One more time. Trust in the Lord. When the Lord tell you something, he wants you to trust him. You know what I mean, am I? That's right. When he tell you to do something, trust that the Lord knows what he's talking about. That's right. Trust it. Trust in the Lord. Go ahead. With all thy heart. With all thy what? All thy heart. With all thy heart. You got to trust in the most high, man. You know what I'm saying? With all thy heart. Go ahead. And lean not unto thy own understanding. Say it again. And lean not unto thy own understanding. You know what get me at, uh, I might, they always say this. Well, that's your private interpretation. Right. Huh? Really? So, so okay, I'm, I, I wrote this book right here. These are my words. No, they're not my words. They're the Lord's words. That's right. The problem is you've been taught by men who are unlearned. That's right. And the scriptures and history and archaeology, they've been proven to be unlearned and wrong since 1969, since the ISCPK started. You understand? Don't lean to your own thoughts. Go ahead. Come on, come. In all thy ways, acknowledge him. It was the him, the most high. And anything you do, acknowledge the most high. Go ahead. And he shall direct thy path. And he's going to direct thy path. He's going to direct you, man. Go ahead. Be not wise. In thy own eyes. Say it again. Be not wise in thy own eyes. You know what that means? Don't think you know what you're doing. Right. If you ain't being told about a priest and prophet of the Lord and the eyes should be K, don't think you know what you're doing. Don't be wise in your own eyes. Now, that's pride when that happens. Catch me pride for a mind. That's right. Go ahead. Fear the Lord. And depart from evil. What does it mean to fear the Lord? The Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. That's right. Man, you fear that if you go against what he says, he wants to punish you. Fear him, because when you fear him, you're not going to do things to get you punished. And now you're not going to be evil. Right. You understand? With that being said, give me Job 4, verse 17, brother. So like that, Job, sir. The Job, the book of Job, the fourth chapter, verse 17. Come, come, sir. Let's get some more on wisdom. And what's wisdom and what's smartness? You know what I'm saying? They kill the whole lot. Well, I don't think. Well, I think it says this. I think it means that. No, it don't. Read. Come, come, come. Job, chapter 4, verse 17. Shall more two men be more just than God? Say it again. Shall more two men be more just than God. You see that, right? It says, shall mortal men be more just than the power? Are you going to be more just than the power when you say, well, I don't think it means that? Well, I don't think it says that? Well, that book was written back then? Or your feelings go against what the Lord says? Right. So now you more just than the Lord. Right? That's what, that's what they're saying. That's right. My thinking is more just than the Lord's thinking. Go ahead. Shall a man be more pure than his maker? You'll be more pure than the one who created you. 
Can't nobody be more no more pure than the Lord. That's for the most high power. Any more? Wow, that was it on that. Now listen, we're gonna take a quick break, but come back with some more on what you think. And does what you think when you go off your emotions coincide with the scriptures? Right. Be right back live on WPEB 88.1 FM, the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. Six years with Obama and I ain't seen no change I know some folks with needles poking down up on their veins 2014, why the fuck we still on crack cocaine? They thinking that we ain't slaves cause they removed the chains And our leaders ain't shit, they just some fucking lames Accountability will fucking up them, they're to blame But they've been eating while we suffer, they don't give a damn Living in ignorance, steps away from illiterates Our children got no innocence, our world's colder than Inuits We need to change our fate, we should have changed our faith Right after that we found out that they painted Jesus' face I can't wait for the Lord to just come and burn this place Hell is what a waste, I'm reaching for the pearly gates Why the fuck when we up in the club and celebrate When our people got the number one fucking abortion rate I'm hoping that just some of these words will penetrate Cause I've been working overtime like my run is late With that being said, we are the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge We come out of 1 West, 125th Street, out of Harlem, New York The home of the truth This is the ISUPK under Commander General Yohanna Give me Job 4 verse 17 Come on, come on Job Chapter 4, verse 17. Go ahead. So, more two men be more than they God. Cut on my cut. So, more two men be more just than God. You see that? So, a man be more just than the Lord? Why is the Lord saying that? Because you're thinking you can do what you want to do and how you want to do it, but not from what the Lord says and what the Lord says how to do it. Do you understand? So, a mortal man be more just than the Lord. Go ahead. So a man be more pure than his maker. See that? Should a man be more pure than his maker? Are you? To be more pure than the Lord? Anymore? Lot of say. Now give me Jeremiah 23 and 25. Like we can't do what we want to do. We can't say what we want to say. We gotta do what the Lord say do. You understand? You got it for me up? Read. Huh? Come on, come on. Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 25 I have heard what the prophet said Go ahead. that prophesied lies in my name how are they, how are they lying in the Lord's name just how they're lying go ahead saying I have dreamed saying what I have dreamed go ahead I have dreamed go ahead how long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesied lies mm -hmm. yeah they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart. Let me tell you something. The Lord knows what he's talking about. The Lord knows what he's talking about. He says about a man, oh, I own the Lord, somebody he had a dream. You understand? Let me tell you something. If you have a dream, and that dream coincides with the Bible, and you bring it to the priest and prophets of the Lord in the ISUBK, and bring it up, break it down, then you're going to know that dream is correct and true. Right. If not, it's not. Give me Colossians 2 and 8. Come on, come, sir. Give me Colossians, the second chapter, verse 8. You understand? We got to clear our minds and get down with what, not what we think, but what the Lord says. And start doing it that way. And then you're going to see our condition change. Things with us change. Right now, it's not changing. If anything, it's getting worse. You got it for me, out? Come on, come, sir. Read. Colossians, chapter 2, verse 8. Go ahead. Beware, lest any man spoil you, you. Through philosophy and vain deceit. What philosophy? By going off of what he thinks and what he feels. That's the philosophy. By doing what he thinks or what he feels. That's it. Go ahead. After the tradition of men. After what men say and what men think and what men feel. Go ahead. After the rudiments of the world. After the what of the world, brother? The rudiments of the world. The things of society. Go ahead. And not at the Christ. And not after what the Bible states, man. That's right. Let me tell you something about King Christ. Whose name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai Mashiach. He lived the Old Testament. He taught the Old Testament. The things he said and the things he did come from the Old Testament. 
Don't you know he didn't think and say what he wanted to say? Right. He got up on the Sabbath every Saturday and read from the Torah and taught the people, read from the Tanakh and taught the people. He didn't say, well, I think this, or I think that. No. Right. He said what the Father wanted him to say and did what the Father wanted him to say. And where he find it? In the Old Testament. That's right. Now, I don't understand how you forget that and don't know that. And this great man who was a black man. That's right. From the tribe of Judah, part of the 12 tribe of the nation of Israel, didn't think his own thoughts, but did what the Father said and taught from the Old Testament, man. Now give me Proverbs 16 and 25. Come on, concern. Now we gotta understand that we can't think what we wanna think. That's the problem amongst us. Everybody think they smart. Everybody, everybody think they know something. But well, if everybody knew something, guess what would happen? Our condition would be a whole lot different. Every so-called black and spanking native Indian, if you knew what you were talking about, you would all know we were Hebrew Israelites. That's right. You would all know what tribe you come from. You would all know how to properly serve the Lord. That's right. And when you do that, our condition would have been had changed. Read. Come on, concern. Proverbs. Chapter 16, verse 25. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man. See that? There's a way that you think is right. Now, you may think this way is right, but what you're doing is correct, because it feels good to you. And it sounds good in your mind. That's why it says, we begin from the top. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man. That's why it seems right to you, because it makes you feel good. In your mind, you think you're right. Go ahead. But the end thereof are the ways of death. But the end of it will get you jammed up. That's right. It's going to have you go against the Lord, and he's going to be not on your side, and death is knocking at the door. Death. You think your ways is right? Over 7,000 young black men die of murder each year by other black men. Your ways is right? Half a million. You better get this number in your head. Right. Half a million of black babies aborted every year through abortion at Planned Parenthood. That's not counting Hispanics and Native Indians to other tribes. But your way is right. The jails are filled with close to two million brothers. That's just black men, That's not counting Hispanic and Native Indians. That's right. But your way is right. No, your way is wrong. You're saying it's not right according to the Lord. Right. We gotta change the way we think and get our mind focused on the most high what the Bible says. Even if it hurts your feelings, suck it up. That's right. Let's make the change. Give me Psalms 119 verse 160. Come on, sir. You understand? No more going off of what you think or what you feel. That that can't happen no more. But what has to happen is now thinking what the Lord thinks. I see it on what he feels. You got it for me? Come on, come sir. Read. Psalms chapter 119, verse 160. Mm -hmm. Thy words is true from the beginning. Say it again. Thy word is true from the beginning. The Lord's word is true from the beginning. There's no lie in what the scriptures say. There's not. There really is no lie in what the Bible says. His words are true from the beginning. You understand? Go ahead. And. Every one of thy righteous judgments endure forever. Say it again. And every one of thy righteous judgments endure forever. You know what forever means? Forever means eternity. That's right. Forever don't never, ever, ever change. That's what forever means. It's eternity, man. You understand? So the thing the Lord said for us to do, it's going to be here forever. Now this was thousands of years ago. We in 2015. Does it ever change? No. Right. But the Bible said it endures forever. No matter if it was back then, we still apply what's back then to now. That's right. We don't change nothing, change the times. No, the times, the times change with us. Get that in your mind. Get it inside your head. You understand? 
Get it inside your head. Now, any more on that, brother? Lies, sir. Give me Proverbs 30, verses 5 and 6. Come on, come on. You in the book of Proverbs. Give me some wisdom now from the Lord on thoughts and on what to think and how to think. You understand? On thoughts. On what to think and how to think. You got it for me? Come on, come sir. Read. Proverbs chapter 30, verse 5. Go ahead. Every word of God is pearl. Say it again. Every word of God is pearl. Whether it's in the Old Testament, or in the New Testament, or in Apocrypha, all his words are pure. Every last one. That's right. Read. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. When you put your trust in these words, it's going to be a shield unto you. What's your shield for? A shield during ancient times was for battle, for warfare. Right. If your enemy tried to strike you with a with a sword, that shield protected you. If he tried to shoot arrows at you, that shield protected you. Now, let's take it spiritual. What's the shield? The words that are in the Bible. Right. And as you do them and apply them, these evil things are here. Spiritually, can't affect you, can't strike you, can't kill you. Because you're doing what the Lord said, they're going to protect you. Because you're going to be not doing what's right, what was wrong, and doing what's right. Right. Read. Verse 6. Add thou not unto his words. You better listen to this very carefully. Don't you add unto the Lord's word. That's right. Don't you add your own flavor to the Lord's word. You better not do it. Don't you add your own words to the words to the Lord's word. You better not do it. Add thou not unto his words. Go ahead. Lest he reprove thee. He gonna reprove you. Go ahead. And thou be found a liar. Be found a what? A liar. Be found a what? A liar. Let me tell you something. Tell you something about the ISUBK, the Commander General in Hanna. What's going on at 1 West, 125th Street in Harlem, New York. All, and I say all, A-L-R, all the philosophies and doctors out here, we've tried. We've battled. And we found all of them to be liars. That's right. We have reproved all these philosophies and doctrines they go back all these thousands of years. You think it's so righteous? Be went into them. And dealt with your so-called scholars. Your so-called learned men. And we have reproved each and every one of them. Why? It can't stand against the word of the Lord. Right. That ain't what we think. That ain't what we feel. That's what the Lord said. We are just meant to champion the Lord's word. And stand for it. Now, give me Isaiah 34 and 16. Concept. Now, we were saying what we thought, what we felt, and then, yeah, we would have got confounded. We would have been the ones called liars. But no. Because we stand for the Lord's word, we are not called liars. That's right. We ain't going off of what we think and what we feel. Isaiah 34 and 16. Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord. Say it again. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord. The book of the Lord is the Bible. We said seek it out. Go ahead. And read. And read the things that are in it, the contents. And let me tell you something. Part of the problem with these 12 tribes, blacks, Hispanics, Native Indians, when we read the Bible, we don't put ourselves in that book. Right. You have to know that these people in the book are your blood relatives. This, your, this is your people. Your DNA is in this book. So now when you read the book, apply yourself to this book, meaning this is part of your people. And when you read something that says to do, you do it. They say, don't do it, you don't do it. Don't think, well, uh, you know, mm, I don't know about that, I don't know about this. No. Apply it to your life. Right. Do what's inside of this book. Go ahead. No one of these shall fail. No prophecies in the Bible shall fail. Let me tell you something. We live in the last days and times, everybody know. That's right. You see the prophecies going on, and then prophecies are brought out in the ICPK back in 1969. Right. You've seen the old, t old tapes, old clips. Right now, the Bible says that the uproars of people on the earth, and that's what's going on right now. All over the earth, uproars of the people on the earth. Nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. You see that going on. Why? The Lord has called us to go on. Why? To bring forth Armageddon, the third world's war. And at the end, Christ is going to be the ruler of this earth. That's right. Read. 
None shall want her mate. I mean, there is no other book that go with the Bible. I don't care what you say. I don't care what they're trying to think and believe. I done tried everybody that claim they got a book to go with the Bible, and I found them to be reproved, to be liars. I'm talking about personally. Face to face. They had their book, I had my book. They bring out they, what they got to say, I bring out what mine got to say. And I reproved all of them. Why? Through the Spirit of the Lord. Right. Which I got in the eyes you became the commander during your honor. We done battled all the major philosophies out here in the doctrine. We done did it. We done came up against them. There's no mate. There's no companion that goes with the Bible. None. Read. For my mouth, it has commanded. The most I commanded for this to be done is said, man. To bring forth his truth. Go ahead. And his spirit. It has gathered them. Meaning, when we speak and we teach, we got the Spirit of the Lord on us. That's right. It ain't our own, our own doings, our own ways. It's the Lord's ways. It's the Lord's doings. We are using His Spirit that He gave to us by doing what He said do. The wake up you, child, child. Blacks, Hispanics, Native Indians. We'll see y'all next week live on WPB 88.1 FM. Shalom. When I days I work hard on the job, when I come across y'all, cross y'all, still like I'm a criminal. Smart manhood.